my name is uh, Scott Hanselman. Um, you can go and, uh, and check me out. You can go and Google uh, with Bing uh, for, uh, for Scott. Um, it, <laughs> When, when, you, when you do go and Google with Bing for Scott, you're going to find uh, an epic battle between me and Scott Toilet Tissue. So if there's anything you do, if you can give me a little juice, when you oh, I saw this guy, Scott, A-H-R-F, Hanselman.com, that would be really useful for my Google juice, because I need to get above the, uh, the toilet paper people. Cool. Um, so uh, I wanted to show you something a little personal. Um, this is um, uh, Ubuntu. Uh, running, uh, and right now I'm running Firefox, and this is the Azure, the Azure portal. I work on Azure and open source at Microsoft. Um, what this is here is uh, my blood sugar website that is running a node on Azure. I'm diabetic. I'm a type 1 diabetic. I have a, um, an insulin pump. This is connected to me 24 hours a day. I sleep with it. I have, forgive me, I have an implant in my stomach here with a battery that does Bluetooth low energy that has a needle about that long that sips the interstitial fluid of my gut and then sends out via Bluetooth to a small device called a CGM, a, con a continuous glucose monitor. This CGM then talks Bluetooth over to this phone, which then sends this data that shows my blood sugar up to a node endpoint running in Azure. So that is my real-time blood sugar right now, as we are sitting here. And uh, the left-hand side, where it kind of got in the yellow and then came back down again, is lunch. And if I back up in time a little bit, you can see the stress response for speaking. So I was doing pretty well, and then I got a little stressed out and started going up. And you see this area here in blue is the, the cone of uncertainty. It basically says this is where you're going to be either going up or going down, a general sense of where you can go. And this is written in Node and uh, D3JS, and it's pretty cool. And I can go and show you my blood sugar going back 24 hours. There's some spots there where there's gaps. That's where I was either in the shower or unconscious in a gutter somewhere. Um, <laughs> And if I click on, this is in Azure, this is Azure. The Azure portal is written entirely in HTML5. Um, I can look here and type in uh, deployment and then go to continuous deployment. And that's going to go and make a backend call. And then I can go there. And you can see it's deploying from GitHub. We, also, we support all this stuff. And if I go and say view log, again, we're still in Firefox and HTML5. There's the, the node packages that are being brought in there. So I get full control of all that kind of stuff. But that's not cool. What's really cool is the command line. And the Azure command line is written in Node, which, isn't, which is cool, but isn't really cool. But what is cool is that um, if I can scroll up, we have ASCII art. Um, <laughs> and that means that Microsoft isn't evil anymore. So. Um, so. So I'll talk, I, promised, I promised Tara that I would also curtsy. So um, we also have uh, in this project called Night Scout. This is an open source project. I've got an, a, a Pebble endpoint, which I then talk to my Apple Watch because I don't know why not connect the Pebble endpoint to the Apple Watch. I'm not sure who gets insulted in that interaction, but somehow it's not a good thing. Um, so that's the endpoint there. And then here is a, another endpoint showing my blood sugar that I can then suck into like Excel online, which is cool because Excel inside of office.com is a web app now that you can actually write JavaScript to. So remember in the old days when you wrote Excel and you wrote it in com? You can actually write it in JavaScript. So if you are a Node developer and you know how to write, you know how to write Excel add-ins now. So I can go and write JavaScript, suck this data in, make Excel graphs, which is awesome. And this project is called Night Scout. Um, I am a tiny, tiny part of it. They have a really cool hashtag called We Are Not Waiting because we are not waiting for the FDA to let us into our devices. We break into them ourselves. Uh, we've got lots of little embedded systems. So if you have embedded systems experience, you can actually help people like myself, but more importantly, little kids with diabetes talking to their node systems on all of their devices so that their parents and their nurses and their families can see their blood sugar. Thank you very much.